Hello Borough fans, it's Joe from Borough Fan TV and this is the preview for the upcoming game on Tuesday the 11th of February with a 7.45pm kickoff as the Borough take on Wigan Athletic in the Scarbet Championship at the DW Stadium. Now, we put in a heck of an effort, you know, last game against Brentford but obviously uh, we never got the um, win that we could have hoped for but we were very unlucky not to come away with a point to be honest. Obviously, um, going into that game we knew... Um, with Brentford at the side who were chasing the playoffs that were going to be tough to contest with. And they started off with a scramble, scramblish goal through uh, Julian Jean-Vier um, in the first half. And then it was a very lively second half. After that, obviously, we equalised through Lewis Wing with another trademark strike from him to get a level. And then quickly after that, Brentford took the lead again through Brian and Bremo. And then um, another equaliser with Ashley Fletcher slotting in um, from um, British Summer Long Across. And I thought we were on our way to another good point away from home. A very decent point, in fact, away from home against uh, one of the sides contested for the playoffs this season. But uh, just a couple of minutes before the end, uh, Brentford snatched it through Ollie Watkins and uh, a signal to come back come, come back from uh, from London with no points at all. Um, a bit got in, but, um, you know, it's... It's a, it was a decent performance on the lads, don't get me wrong, it was a decent performance, but unfortunately we never picked up the, at least a point from it, which was a, a bit gutting from all of us, uh, to be honest. There were a lot of positives to take out of that game, you know, um, one of our deadline day debutants, Howell McCoody, putting a decent performance in, which I've heard a lot of good praise about through the socials for him. Um, unfortunately, Ravel Morrison never got to, uh, to come off the bench um, to play in that game, but hopefully... He may be contend for the game on uh, Tuesday night against Wigan. Um, and obviously, apart from that, obviously with the injuries to both Ayala, Roberts, uh, Shotton and Friend, who, who are still uh, playing, going to play in the under-23s at the moment. Um, apart from that, the squad for that is pretty much the same as usual, um, full as it gets. Um, now, considering we're going into the uh, next three games against uh, teams that are currently occupied the bottom three, um, people say, you know, it's going to be easy, you know, nine points, nine points uh, in the bag, but you have to consider though, um, the bottom three teams, well, two of the bottom three teams have been picking up form recently, and Wigan are certainly one of them, um, they've got a good run going there, obviously, which I'll get to in a bit, um, which obviously came to an end, you know, this past uh, weekend just gone, um, Wigan are currently sit fair bottom in the moment in 22nd, their current record is played 31, won 7, drawn 8 and lost 15, um, maybe 16 probably, do correct me if I'm wrong, but thanks, uh, the last game out obviously, they had a decent one going and then it all came to an end at home with a 2-1 at de uh, home defeat in the local derby nonetheless against Preston North End, so... Uh, Paul Cook, the current, the, uh, the current Wigan manager, has got a very good set up um, you know, for, for the last decent games, which obviously one of them, they beat Leeds, believe it or not. Um, but obviously, uh, you come to think of it, when the current top scorer is a central defender in Shea Dunkley, who we've got to watch out for in set pieces. So obviously, they've got other good players in their ranks, such as Keith Moore, who had an impressive run the last couple of seasons at other clubs. Um, Jamal Law, who just signed from Portsmouth in the summer, he's really good as well. Um, Sam Morsey, who's a brilliant playmaker in uh, midfield as well. Uh, Anthony Robinson, you know, who, who nearly moved to AC Milan on deadline day, but unfortunately that deal fell through. Um, he might be in contention to come back into the squad again because he didn't. Cause, uh, the last couple of games after deadline day, he never played. So, be interested if he comes back into the fold then. Um, now, the last time we played Wigan at the Riverside, it finished 1-0 one, one to the Borough with a British Sombre longer goal, which I wasn't there for because obviously I was in Benidorm at that time. Um, but it, when... It's usually it's usually good, you know, going to the DW Stadium. Obviously, I've been there last season, which uh, which was a frustrating nil nil draw, as you guys will recall. Um, but I think from from what I've heard, we're bringing close to bringing around like two and a half thousand down to for a midweek game away at Wigan, which is obviously pretty good from perspective from our point. Um, you know, like I said, you know, now the next week games we've got coming up, which is against the sides that are currently in the bottom three, obviously. We've got Wigan coming up on Tuesday night and then this Saturday coming we've got uh, Luton uh, who occupy rock bottom. They come to the Riverside on the Saturday and then um, the Saturday after that we go to Barnsley which I've heard a massive following we're going to be taking for that as well. Close to around nearly 3,500 in fact. So 
let me know in the comment section, Borough fans. Um, do you think we'd get nine points out of the next three games against the current bottom three, or would you settle for two out of three in bad, so to speak? Excuse the pun there. Um, just let us know in the comment section below your thoughts and predictions uh, going into the game. Obviously, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe as always. Uh, our social media links to Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram are also in the description below. And until then, Borough fans, I will see you on the next preview video. Until then, up the Borough.